All right. So, hey, guys. Just wanted to do a quick video with you. And tonight, I got something actually kind of special. Uh, how's it going out there, gents, ladies, everyone? Hope you're staying well and not getting sick from this COVID-19 coronavirus. We are here in Michigan, and currently we are under a statewide quarantine until April the 13th, 2020. But I'm not going to let that stop me from doing a YouTube video with you, ladies and germs. And tonight I have a very special video for you. Barbasol Shaving Cream, everybody. Barbasol Shaving Cream, the one and only Barbasol Shaving Cream. Thick and rich shaving cream. Well, and yes, original. So, last year, the fine folks at Barbasol, the company turned 100 years old. They started making shaving cream back in 1919. And at that time, when it was first made, up to then, people had pretty much been going to barber shops to get shaved. They wanted to make it easier than that. So Barbasol, which meant Barber Solutions, Barbasol, they came up with it. It was in this little tube, kind of like toothpaste is today. And then they started making it in the aerosol cans. Now, there's a reason that I like Barbasol, and I think that this is why they've stayed in business a long time, and a lot of men have remained loyal to this American brand, and it's became an icon over the years. Price. I first started shaving at the age of about 15, back in 2003, and at the time I could get a 10-ounce 10, uh, 10 can of Barbasol foam shaving cream for less than a dollar out the door. Now it's a little more than that. It's a little over a dollar, but not a bad price. It's definitely the cheapest among competitors, and it's just as good. It's just as good as anything else on the market. So, yeah, why not do Barbasol, right? But here it is. This is the 100th Anniversary Edition can. This is what it used to look like when it was made. The cans looked like this right up until about the 1950s or 60s. Uh, this was even the design on the old uh, tubes that it came in back when it still was actually a lather. It came in these tubes, in those tubes... Then they started making it a can. Now, another reason I like Barbasol is just simply nostalgia. It's basically the only thing I ever remember my dad using. And this is back in the very early 90s. I remember the smell of it because it was in the bathroom. A red, white, and blue can with that good smell and foam. I don't know how to describe that smell other than it's so distinct. You know it when you smell it. You know it when you smell it. It, it, it. It's an unbeatable smell. Even if it doesn't... Okay, I get this. Even if you like the... I even like the slipperiness of a shaved gel better than that of a foam. But they just don't smell like Barbasol shaving cream, man. There's, I mean, that's how something that a man uses for a grooming routine should smell. And they expanded their product line along the years. You've got the Soothing Aloe brand, which comes in the green can that's very popular. 
You got the Pacific Rush, which gives you that surfing scent. Younger guys tend to like that a little bit better, I'm thinking. They get a few others out there, sensitive skin and one or two others. But anyway, Barbasol, 100th anniversary. I got this at my local Rite Aid. I wasn't even in there to pick up shaving cream. I was actually in there for something totally different. Not toilet paper, believe it or not. No, thank you very much. I wasn't in there to get toilet paper. I get plenty of that here in my bathroom. Thank you very much again. So all you hoarders out there, quit buying all the damn toilet paper and quit assaulting your local clerks at the grocery store because they ain't got toilet paper. It ain't their fault. Okay? Just a tip from me. Now I'm going to set this old can of Barbasol down. I hope you enjoy the video because I'm going to be coming back here in a week or so, hopefully less with something I ordered in the mail, and I can't wait to show it to you. Until then, stay safe and stay inside unless you have to go somewhere. Night.